Hello everyone. I also still get to say good morning. How's everyone doing? Excellent. So, of course, today's topic is serving the changing world of BFSI. So I thought it's only apt to pick the concept of the changing customer experience in the world of BFSI. So last year, actually, just eight months back, we asked about 1,500 BFSI industry leaders, including leaders from India, that are you changing a shift in customer expectations, in customer journeys, in new customer behavior in digital channels? And the answer was a resounding yes. They said, in fact, 82% of them said, yes, we are changing customer journeys, which we have never seen before. We are seeing customers taking new paths using our digital products and services. All of it obviously induced by the pandemic, but the journeys have definitely changed. Changing journeys is one thing, but there's a very interesting phenomenon which is happening along with this, which is, the world as we know, the world of customers as we know, as we used to plan and, and execute, we, we, used to be, we used to use this term of demographics. This change is in fact demolishing the demographics as we knew. We all have categorized our customers, Gen X, Millennials, Gen Y, older generation, and so on and so forth. But the interesting fact is that from BFSI organizations, the expectations are actually similar across these demographics as the time progress. For example, me, I can relate to multiple profiles on this particular screen. I want personal service. I want digital to be easy, just like Gen X. It's not just Gen Y who is only influ mainly influenced by social media to consider a product. And we all want trusted advice from everywhere we can get it from. So this change is demolishing the demographics as we have known. It's a very interesting concept because, see, all of us don multiple hats during the day, don't we, right? Consultant, IT, husband, football coach to your daughter or son, and so on and so forth. Similarly, the needs of the customers are now spread across these demographics. Everybody want convenience. People want advice on how to spend their money wisely and how brands can help them to achieve their financial goals. So all these demographics are demolished and we call them, there's a new demographics. I call it, it's the generation know me. It's not Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, Gen A. It's generation know me. What are the traits of this generation? This generation says that, please do treat me as an individual. I know I am part of the segment called premium default happen or salary credited on first. No, please do treat me as an individual because my changes, my needs are changing. They're also saying, my expectations are different. Digital is easy, that's stable stakes. I'm interacting with a BFSI brand. I expect transactions to happen without any issue. My expectation is on the next level, which is give me valuable stuff. Give me stuff which helps me progress my personal finance journey. And of course, my preferences are changing. What I needed last hour is not what I need in the next hour. So please understand and engage with, engage with me on my terms so that you, brand, can build trust with me. Trust, as you know, especially in the digital world, super hard to earn and super easy to lose, right? So this generation know me is creating an unprecedented demand in terms of where organization need to be in their customer experience scape. So how do we meet this changing needs of today's new customer? Three traits. One is know me. 
understanding of your broad segment isn't enough. Second, show me valuable and personalized and contextual experiences where I am based in the journey. And finally, help me. Sometime personalization, it's not enough. Help me to understand wherever I am actually stuck in your digital journey, so on and so forth. So know me, show me, and help me. The writing is definitely on the wall. Now, previous eminent speakers and panelists spoke about this. Data is important. Data needs to be in motion, obviously. And one of the primary fundamental principle of doing this, know me, show me, help me, is to keep data at motion and keep the queries or segmentation at rest. So that in real time, when the data comes in, they actually immediately contextualized into segments of their choice, and hence, generation Nomi. The problem is, Nomi, show me, help me is on the wall. The problem is the gap. Are our systems engineered to tackle this problem of data in motion, queries at rest? Are our systems engineered and connected with each other to provide contextual experiences in the last millisecond? So the why is very clear. Let's talk about the how. The how is personalization at scale. That is, moving from personalization to personalization at scale. At Adobe, we define personalization at scale very clearly. Why? Because personalization is an overused term. We all understand that, right? We just throw away that term everywhere. So let me demystify this. Personalization is providing a contextual experience to the right consumer in the right channel, right? But that's so 2000. What personalization at scale is doing this exact same thing to the right consumer, that says the same, on every channel that is possible, at every stage of their journey, Yes, I want to sell them, I want to service them, I want to actually make them happy across their journey. And doing this for every consumer in the moments that really matter to them, which is real time. Just look at the chandelier. See the colors of the glasses? See the length of this particular thread in which it is actually attached to? Personalization at scale it's like having a robotic hands, like a million robotic hands, to personally take care of each glass pieces right here on this particular beautiful art installation of Shanlia. That's the how. Now, following Simon Sinek's golden circle, start with the why, the how, and then the what. The what is, is experience engineering. Thanks to our partner, Technopoint Dev, who has come up with amazing framework of experience engineering, which will allow your organization to strategize so that you are ahead of the pack, help you with technology, which is future ready, and execution, making most of the solution very early in the cycle of implementations, customer experience solutions from Adobe, and also enabling your employees at the right time so that the value of these solutions for personalization at scale is extracted right from the beginning. Now, experience engineering. At Adobe, we believe that in order to achieve this personalization at scale, organizations, BFSI organizations, should deploy technology in three major areas. Number one, there has been enough conversation about this since morning, data and insights. Collect and analyze data, and the focus should be on actionable insights. Everybody talked about this, but I have a different take to this, which is there can't be enough data scientists ever in a BFSI organization. That problem is not going to get solved. So what we want is technology to enable every member of the team to become a data scientist. So we call them citizen data scientists, so that everybody is empowered and the data insight generation process is across the organization, right from the CEO to the uh, actual analyst himself or herself. The second pillar is content and collaboration. 
it is it is really i mean it's sad that we talk a lot about data and so less about content data is the voice of our customer but content is how you respond to them it is important especially in a country like india a uh, uh, previous panel member spoke about the importance of vernacular content it's important that you think how where is your content factory how are you automating your content creation how are you managing your content needs in all different languages and finally you need to marry these together data and content that's where journeys and commerce comes in so that you can provide intelligent contextual and relevant experiences which sort of delights the customer that's in there now adobe has deployed our technology across these know me show me and help me over the past several years we have understood the importance of having specific solutions across the customer journey and needs and also built a ground up platform at the bottom so that your data and content and artificial intelligence services are taken care at a platform level we have done this so that you can take the most out of customer experiences and expectations that is out there in the industry and make sure that you have a well stitched solution behind the scene to deliver that delightful customer experience and of course our technology is continuously evaluated by analysts in the industry and recently we are humbled to be placed as the rightmost leader in the forester wave of enterprise marketing suite in fact we have been a leader in this particular quadrant from 2014 so it's humbling to see all the might of research all the might of development the might of innovation that we put behind the scene at adobe is actually validated by both industry players as well as our customers and as i said it's not just the industry we do have successful bfsi customers who are on this journey of personalization at scale and have reaped the benefits so early in this particular cycle all these customers that you see there have been made successful by both adobe and technopoint dept together result driving impact as you can see on the screen and that's the case with technopoint as well there have been a long term standing trusted player in the industry with adobe and they have delivered the promise of personalization at scale to various banking financial services industry customer with that i would like to close the session with one call to action personalization at scale is imperative if you don't catch up to this there are chances that others would differentiate their experience by doing it at scale please do reach out to us for a personalization at scale workshop to understand where your organizations are currently at so that you can diagnose the problem there is a qr code or please find us at the booth you would be more than happy to help you so at adobe and technopoint dept we have a one of a kind passion towards customer experience like you all have in this particular room and we look forward for creating such delightful experiences for banking and financial services industry customers in years to come thank you so much for having me lovely meeting you hopefully we can catch up at the booth or somewhere else outside thank you over to you face